So the biggest change since the last update is we moved the house from back there to right here. We did have the tarp off, but it's back on because of a problem we had with all of the caulking. I'm not sure yet why the caulking failed so epically, but I do know I have a lot of work ahead of me now. I now need to scrape and peel it off all around the house. This is the brand we used, pretty common stuff, rated for indoor and outdoor. I definitely won't use it again, and I'm going to use white instead of clear, in case that had something to do with it. After moving the house on November 1st, it sat without the tarp on for a week. It rained a lot over that week, as it does this time of year on the west coast of Canada. Still, the caulking was applied back on October 12th, giving it over two weeks to cure and harden, and it seemed to be nice and solid, so we thought everything would be fine. When I went to check on the house and do some other work this past Tuesday, the 8th, I found this mess. President-elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Very disheartening. Big league. It's terrible. Look at the mess. I'll be following up with Home Depot and the manufacturer to try and find out what went wrong and look into some kind of compensation. This incident just added another layer of stress to the journey of building the tiny house, but it spurred further conversation between Jackie and I on what the ultimate fate of the house would be. Since well before the project got underway, and really anytime I bring up tiny houses to anyone, people have asked, where are you going to live in it? I haven't had an answer and figure I'd cross that bridge when I reach it. People have also asked, are you both, Jackie and I, going to be living in it? That one is easy to answer. No. From the start of the project, we both agreed this house is something we both like to own, and we figure out who gets it once we're done, possibly even trading it back and forth depending on who needs a place to live. Up until now, Jackie has put out about 87% of the cost of the house, which is $21,316. Of the total, $24,189. The assumption we'd been working under was that she'd own the house. I hadn't planned on building a tiny house until I had my own funds available, but I was all too happy to start working on something with a willing partner who had the cash. I did start pitching in once her savings dried up in order to continue making progress. Our original budget was $25,000, but it looks like $30,000 is more realistic at this point. So anyways, with money being the constant stressor that it is and Jackie needing to resume full-time work, I made the offer to simply buy the house outright and start making payments to her. With the paths each of us are on, this will make things much more simple. So Jackie's off on her next adventure, and I'll be flying solo with Rookie Roost. Sorry Jackie fans, but I'm sure she'll make some appearances in future videos. As for the fate of the tiny house, I don't know. It's currently in the lower mainland of British Columbia, Canada, and I'm pretty open to suggestions and offers, so if you know a place... That's it for now. See you next time at the Roost. Be sure to like and comment if you enjoyed this video. And you can click on the preview tiles to check out some of our other videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. You can also follow us on social media.